matchup that a lot of fans have been expressing curiosity and interest in. Ray Saint Jean versus Alexi Nicole, this intergender matchup. He's uh, disgusting. What's Ray doing now? Yep, that's exactly what I expected out of this man. No class, absolutely no class. Pulling out all the stuff from the kitchen, telling fans and telling his opponent where they think she belongs. Well, Dr. Bob, the rumors I hear are true. It's uh, Ray Saint Jean wearing those things back in his house, but I won't get into that stuff. But Alexia Nicole having none of it. Spatula, aprons, the oven gloves all being thrown right back in his face. And he deserves all of that and more. I don't even know why the ref's stopping him. Deserves a Some fist, a boot, a headbutt to the face. Some this sort of chauvinist is he. Completely disgraceful actions by Ray St. John. I used to like this guy, Dr. Bob. I used to find him a, a, a good buddy, a, a guy you'd like to see around shows, but then this attitude change, this disrespect he's been showing people just disgusts me, especially against a fine athlete like Alexia Nicole. He has been disrespecting Cornwall since the second he entered. I'm not going to repeat some of the terrible things he said, but let me tell you, he's compared some of these fine citizens to uh, stuff you'd find in the sewer and such. Ray is absolutely hated a lot of places he goes through recently, Adam, but especially none more than Seaway Valley Wrestling. Taking some time, not bothering to consider any kind of threat from Alexia Nicole, which is a classic mistake. Many of Nicole's opponents have given her just that shred of doubt, that that thought process that she does not deserve to be in the ring with anybody because of her size, but she's a tough individual. Fighting this matchup with a bad shoulder. Well, Ray's got a bad attitude, a bad chip on his own shoulder, and let me tell you, that's going to be a huge disadvantage. If you do not give her the proper respect, Alexia Nicole will absolutely start being a submission and put it down for a three count. Anything. She's such a versatile athlete. Any opponent, any size. Let me tell you, she's got a fighting chance against any single person. We've seen time and time again her able to take out bigger opponents through her quickness, through her resourcefulness. They're just a combination of a lot of skills that makes her one of the best athletes, I think, on the Seaway Valley rosters. On the Seaway Valley's roster. With a kiss. Again, he's still talking smack. He, want, he, he wants a. He doesn't want to fight Lexi Nicole. He wants a kiss. He doesn't actually want a kiss. He knows he's not getting it. How could you expect? Are this? you serious? You know, just the progression that wrestling has made over the last few years, Dr. Bob, and we have this utter, utter disgusting display by Ray St. Jean. The Neanderthal that is Ray St. Jean. He the knows, immaculate Neanderthal. He, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's getting under his opponent's skin. He's getting under his fans' skin. He gets a rush out of this, Adam. I hate it. Well, I wish Alexi Nicole would rush at St. Jean, boot him right in the face. And, oh, come on, Alexia, don't do it. Don't, don't oblige. <laughs> oh. Well, I think Ray deserves this and a lot more. I would usually I, say you're why. Not, you're I would not not say <laughs> why in this situation, but I know exactly why this is happening. Because Ray St. Jean is a horse's ass. <laughs> or something, but you know what? Horse's ass is absolutely apropos. The horse's ass kissing a zebra's ass, Dr. Bob, and I like it. Alexia finally getting some offense in on Ray St. Jean. Springboard's off the middle, catches her, can't remember, there's our drive before that, and she is just speed personified here. I don't think so, no. She's had to put up with the games from Ray St. Jean now, making them pay. Um, this is I say that St. John takes control. Well, here's the thing. I know we've been insulting Ray. I know we've been talking all this uh, smack about him, but lest we not forget, he is a very dangerous opponent there. Sometimes, sometimes his bravado take gets the best of him, but he is an accomplished runner, wrestler, and he has faced some of the biggest names all across Ontario. 
It's the knees right in the face. I mean, Dr. Bob, I'll have to agree with you. As much as we don't like the antics of Ray St. John, he knows how to get the job done. He knows how to work his game plan. He knows how to do what he does best. The reason he's near at the top of the food chain here in Seaway Valley Wrestling is not just because of all the signs and disrespect we give him. That's for sure. I mean, what I've said about Ray St. John, not the flashiest offense, but he knows what he can do, and he knows how to get it done at its full extent. And now it's time for Alexei and Nicole to play a little bit of those mind games. Just baiting him in, saying, come on, come on, I'm holding the rope, holding the rope for you. St. John wasted some time, but tried to knock over Alexia. Wheelbarrow and just shoves her down, and that is a strength advantage. Joshua Penn, not enough. I know he really didn't think he was going to get the three off of that, but that's just more disrespect. I think just a simple throw is going to get in the pin. But not a mistake Alexia wants to make against Ray St. John, who does have the size and strength advantage, giving him the opening, and now just falling victim to these repeated slams. Look at Rushing his hands off there. Found people of easy work, no big deal, no problem, but... I think actions speak a little louder than words. He hasn't finished the match off yet. He hasn't been able to, I don't know, put the apron or the oven gloves and disrespect her further because he's having a little bit of trouble with Alexia. Alexia desperately trying to fight back against Sejal. Showing off that heart we've seen many times. Goes for the shortcut again. You know, somebody should grab his hair. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Adam, the guy thinks he's so much better than Alexia. And that's not an actual pin, that's a knee across the throat. Five count until getting disqualified there. Now it's a pin. Not enough. The man thinks he's so much better than the opponent, Adam B. Explain to me why he thinks he needs to pull her hair, choke her out, and do all that stuff if he's that much better and a different whole class than Alexia Nicole. I think Dr. Bob, to be honest with you, I think it's just a matter of disrespecting his opponent, disrespecting the crowd, showing that, hey, you know, this is a great opponent you guys see for me, but I can just use my most dirtiest underhanded tricks, not even put any effort in whatsoever, and still come out on top. Just complete disregard for everybody and what they've come here to see, a fine wrestling contest. Ray St. John does not want that to happen. He wants to use these dirty tricks. He wants to cheapen this matchup. Well, I hope he gets his come up and... Taking time to boast and cheer in the middle of a matchup too, come on. Look at this power from Alexia. Electric, electric chair drop. I'm gonna say Alexia chair drop, but same thing. Goes for bit. Come on, Alexia, no. I feel like half of our job, Adam, is to be impartial, but you know when you're calling an RSJ match, it's easy not to be. Especially the... Oh, 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 oh. Knee. The electric chair drop, I think, tweaked his knee when he fell down hard. Oh, wait a minute, Dr. Bob, Dr. Bob. Is that... That's Randy Barry. Insignia cohort, oh. Randy Barry, and another disgusting individual. Barry's been an R and Ray St. John's quarter more often than not. Not like this. Insignia gonna steal one. As we've expected Insignia to do. Disgusting. You know what, I think Ray was having a lot of trouble right up until that point. Had it not been for Randy Barry's interference, might this matchup have turned out differently? Heck yes. But unfortunately, we see Ray Saint-Jean's arm erased once again. 